What's up, everyone? I'm here with uh, Beast Hunters Voyager Optimus Prime. And um, when I first seen this guy, I had no interest of getting him. He looked like a Fisher Price toy. But eventually, he started to grow on me a little bit. And since there's nothing else to buy, I bought him. I must say, he does come with a very large instruction manual. It folds out to be really big. Um, he has a really easy trans. Uh, he has a really easy transformation. So I don't know why they need a sheet that big, but well, whatever. Um, as far as rolling goes, he rolls all right. His the front wheels don't move too well because these things are actually in there too with it. So I don't know. They just don't roll very well. And these wheels do pop on. They got that whole pop on mechanism which is kind of cool because if you get figures with the same kind of wheel size and stuff you can switch them up a little bit other than that it sucks um <clears throat> he's got some decent paint apps on him the f you know the front grill the lights um the side windows are yellow i don't know why they're yellow you would think they'd be green but whatever um they should have given him some paint apps on the wheels you know his uh, windshields are green, along with the Star Saber, and uh, I read that it's because the Star Saber is going to become green in the show, and when he uses it, his chest lights up green and his eyes become green and shit like that. I don't know if it's true or whatever, but we'll soon see because uh, the trailer to Season 3 looks uh, really, really good, I'm not going to lie. But... Yeah, that's him in vehicle mode. It's, you know, pretty good size and stuff. I'm glad they're upping the size of the vehicles. You know, that's his uh, stall saber there. Let's just pull that off. These uh, double as rockets and, I don't know, I call them bone arrows, sort of. I don't know what they call it on the package, but who cares. But they do uh, fire, and they fire pretty well. I wish they kept the missiles green. It would have looked a lot better. This one folds back this far. The rest of them, eh, they all do, I guess. Eh, you can fold them as far as you want, I guess. Anyway, like I was saying, he's a, he's a very easy transformation. What you do is you want to pop the wings off the arms. And this is a very soft plastic, so it bends. <clears throat> lift these up like that, and then lift this whole thing up like so. You know? Take his arms and pop them off his legs. Oh, this so they get snapped in there a little. I just take these, pull them out, bring these gray things down, and then fold this whole piece around like so. And tab it in. All right, all right. So you got that like that. Bring his legs down. You can pop his legs apart now. An easy way to get these things out is just go like this, and they're out. <clears throat> you don't have to pick at them with your nails. Take this whole top piece, spin it around. Straighten out his legs. Take his arms, pull them out, lift this up. You're going to pull them all the way. And these gray pieces are going to tab in right there onto the little nubs that are on the side of them. That's a soft plastic, and they just kind of up there with friction, sort of. Pull his head up, and it snaps. Take this, fold it in, bring his backpack down, and rotate this around. And that is your Optimus Prime there. <clears throat> you can take his rockets, put them on the back as, you know, on his wings so they look like, you know, jet engines or rocket launchers, whatever you want to call them. Straighten it all out, whatever, who cares. And then his Star Saber, just put it in his hand. And there you go. It's very nice. I like him in his uh, robot mode. These can go up, or you can. I kind of have them angled down. I don't really like them too far out. They pop off very easily too. Um, <clears throat> he's kind of light. His kibble is not that bad because it looks like you know a jetpack, so it looks pretty nice. <clears throat> he can put a lot of detail. His sword also can just stay back there, and so you can have it stored like so. If you don't want it in his hand. <clears throat> or in 
just, you know, put it back in his hand. I've seen other reviewers say uh, he's hollow feeling and stuff like that. I mean, he's not. He's light, but he's really not chintzy hollow feeling, like shitty hollow feeling. I'm glad that his arms are full plastic and they're not like shit like this. You know, where it's half sides the arm and half sides just emptiness, which kind of sucks. Also, another thing about this guy, his head moves like this, and that's as far as you want to move it. That's as far as you want to move it both sides, because if not, his chin piece will catch on this plastic on the side, and you'll mess it up. I messed mine up just a little bit. If you can see, turning his head around. Let me see a little bit right there. Looks like crap. And here comes my daughter yelling about something. You all right, babe? And for size comparison, here he is next to Grimlock, which he's a pretty good size. I think it goes nice. Well, babe, shush. Okay, I'll put it on in a minute. Anyway, his articulation, his head goes left and right a little bit. His arms, because right here, go up and down. Bicep right. swivel, got a single jointed elbow, nice swivel on the wrists. You got a no waist swivel, but let's see, if you move the thing on his backpack a little bit, you can swivel the top piece, but it's going to mess up transformation. His legs go forward and back nice, out nice. Um, got a jointed knee, which got a good bend to it. And then you got, I don't know why they did this. Because his foot stays like that in transformation, and you know, uh, I mean, there's no real point. Because I mean, I guess you can go like this, and it looks like he's tiptoeing or something. <laughs> I mean, it kind of whatever. But all in all, he's a he's a pretty decent prime. He's better than I thought what he's going to be. And yeah, his wings, you know, they're also movable too. So you can put them wherever. And yes, his rockets do go in his hands. I think they do. I don't know. I haven't put them in there yet because I don't like the way it looks. And you can open it up and fire the missile if you so choose to. But... Yeah, I don't know, I like this figure. I probably won't pick up Predaking because he just looks like crap. I've seen reviews on him, and he, I don't know, I just don't like him. I can't stand that his hands are just claws. Like, I hate that shit. But, yeah, this Optimus Prime is pretty decent. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like him. And, and that is uh, Beast Hunter's Voyager Optimus Prime. Take it easy, guys.